Welcome back to Geology Watch. In late August of 2025, deep beneath the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of northern Chile, a section of the Earth's crust began to move, but it made no sound. There was no violent shaking, no tsunami alert, no sign of what was happening miles below. It was a silent earthquake, and it has just delivered one of the most serious warnings our planet can give. Before we explore the details of this silent threat, if you find these topics critical for understanding our world, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. The source of the new alert is a phenomenon known as a slow-slip event. Unlike a conventional earthquake that releases energy in seconds, a slow-slip event unfolds over days or weeks. The fault moves, but so slowly that it creates no seismic waves and cannot be felt. This recent event was detected by a highly sensitive network of seafloor and GPS sensors. The data showed that a deep section of the Nazca and South American tectonic plates had just slipped by several centimeters. But what unfolded next was not relief, but a wave of scientific alarm. The immediate aftermath was analytical. Just this week, a new paper was fast-tracked for publication in the journal Science to analyze the data from this silent quake. Its conclusion was unambiguous and deeply concerning. The paper's authors confirmed that the slow-slip event has critically transferred stress from the deeper part of the fault to the shallower, locked section that has been silent for over a century. In simple terms, the silent movement below has effectively loaded the trigger on the main fault, significantly increasing the probability of a catastrophic megathrust rupture. As the data was processed, scientists turned their attention to the location itself, a place known as the Atacoma Seismic Gap. The real story isn't just the silent quake, it's where it happened. A seismic gap is a section of an active fault that has been quiet for a very long time, indicating it's locked and accumulating immense stress. The Atacama Gap, located off the coast of northern Chile, last ruptured in 1877. For more than 140 years, it has been silent, while the Nazca Plate continues to push eastward at nearly 8 centimeters per year. All of that motion has been stored as energy in the rock. To understand the potential power, one only needs to look south. In 1960, a different section of this same plate boundary produced the Valdivia earthquake, a magnitude 9.5, the most powerful earthquake ever recorded. The Atacoma Gap is now under intense observation and the recent slow-slip event was an extraordinary scientific opportunity. For geoscientists, this was more than a warning. It was an experiment on a planetary scale. Never before had so many advanced instruments been aligned to capture a stress transfer event inside a mature seismic gap in real time. The resulting data set is unlike anything scientists have seen for this region. With this data, researchers can refine models of how stress propagates along a fault and how to better interpret potential earthquake precursors. In other words, this wasn't just about understanding a silent quake. It was about understanding the final stages of the loading process before a megaquake. But here's where the story takes its most critical turn. While the silent quake was an invisible event, its implications for the human population on the coast are very real. The Atacoma Seismic Gap is now primed for a potential mega-thrust earthquake of magnitude 8.5 or higher. Such an event would cause violent ground shaking for several minutes across the entire region, threatening major cities like Iquique and Antofagasta. The greater threat would be this subsequent tsunami, the 1877 earthquake generated waves that devastated the Chilean coast and caused damage as far away as Hawaii and Japan. A modern repeat would be catastrophic for the region's coastal communities 
and for its massive mining industry, which is the world's largest supplier of copper. The economic shockwave would disrupt a critical global supply chain. The silent slip event remains extraordinary. It was like a natural experiment we could never plan or repeat. Yet it revealed that the fault is active, groaning under immense pressure and preparing for its next major release. Imagine the fault as a vast loaded spring. The slow slip was the sound of the spring tightening one final notch. For scientists, that sound is a clue, sharpening our understanding of the immense forces at play. And while the world continues without interruption, the ground beneath northern Chile is now under more stress than it was just a few weeks ago. The silent quake didn't just rattle scientific instruments, it may have started the countdown for the next big one. For scientists, it was proof that the Earth is never static. For the rest of us, it's a humbling reminder. We live on a world where the greatest warnings are sometimes the ones we cannot feel. If this analysis gave you a new perspective on our planet's hidden forces, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Join us as we continue to explore the incredible forces shaping the only world we call home.